You know what I wish, Tommy? I wish you'd kept fucking her. Because the rewards of seeing your face after all this is said and done. Yo, man, we need to talk. I'm going to ask a very controversial question and I need your honest answer in the comment section. Do you think Gloria would have lived if Tommy didn't warn Victor? Secondly, do you even think Tommy did the right thing by warning Victor? Leave your comments in the comment section. In this video, I'm going to talk about Tommy's move to warn Victor and how things are going to be different with Victor now that Gloria is dead. JP finally hearing the voice of his mother, Tommy discovery of JP's son and what he would do with the information, how Tommy will test DMAC's loyalty and I'll also touch on Jenna's move. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome, kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now as usual, let's jump straight into business. I feel sorry for the fact that Gloria is dead but the moment Victor accepted to leave town, I knew one of them was going to die. And the only person who has less storyline here is Gloria. Now let's look at the mistake that led to Gloria's death and who really is to blame. So a quick run through, Tommy found out Walter was going to kill Gloria. Because the rewards of seeing your face after all that's said and done. He went straight to tell Victor about what his father might do to the love of his life. Yo man, we need to talk. Grab your girl and bounce. Why are you trying to help me? I saw your old man. He wants her gone. Now, why was Tommy so concerned about what might happen to Gloria since she's with Victor? Because Tommy had a good moment with her as well. And he doesn't want what happened to Lakeisha to happen to Gloria. So one can say Tommy's motive was good and clear. Victor, for one reason, believed Tommy and decided to act fast by living with Gloria. Now, this is where the twist begins for me. Vic's uncle was with him and out of their conversation, he mentioned that Tommy was with Walter and the plan was to bring Tommy on board in their business. Your dad met with Tommy Egan about bringing him in. What the uncle didn't know was how unwilling Tommy was with Walter's preposition. You showed me exactly who you was at Dr. Parker's. You ain't someone I could ever fuck with. Now, this part of the information made Vic felt like Tommy lied to him simply because he didn't tell him about that part where his father was poaching him to join the Flynn business. He knew I couldn't trust that motherfucker. At this juncture, I want to believe his uncle said this to him without any motive of doubting Tommy because I don't think he knew Tommy came to Victor. And even if he knew, I don't think he knew exactly what Tommy advised Victor to do. Victor decided to follow his instinct and not trust Tommy. He went ahead to take his own car as against what Tommy brought him. Now, if you remember the Sep twins that kidnapped Liliana, one of them had left before Tommy came to kill them and rescue Liliana. So the remaining twin is the one that pulled up on Vic and Gloria. So clearly, it's not Walter's call. But this situation will become something if Victor doesn't think straight. Why do I say so? If Victor recognized that the person who shot at him and Gloria is one of the Serbs, then it's a safer zone for Walter with Victor. Because Victor knows his father will not hire the Serbs to pull up on him. Now, what does this mean to Victor? Victor will live with lots of regrets for not listening to Tommy. We might possibly see some burial as well. And if I am Victor, the best place to bury Gloria will be next to her mother. Now, the question is, whose fault is it that Gloria died? Before I say what I think, I believe we have direct fault here and indirect fault in this case. With regards to indirect fault, I think Uncle Polly can be blamed for Gloria's death indirectly. Because if he hadn't tell Victor about Tommy working with his father, Victor would have trusted Tommy and go away with his car. Now with direct fault, I blame Victor for not listening to Tommy and using his car. I also blame Walter directly for Gloria's death. Had it not been his constant opposition of their relationship, all these decisions would have been avoided. No one would try running from Chicago. Gloria would have been safe and sound. So for me, the two major people I blame here are Victor and Walter. So let me know what you also think in the comment section about what I just said. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and let's have a conversation. Now moving on, JP finally heard his mother's voice and oh, by the way, it was great seeing Kate back in action. Just that I noticed something. Did you guys realize she was looking clean and sober? I guess she's making good use of ghost inheritance. Anyway, that's just by the way. Now that JP has contacted her and heard her voice, I guess the next major thing for him is to meet her in person. Now, if I were Kate, 
million questions will be running through my head by now. The voice definitely doesn't sound like Tommy, so she knows he's not the one. But do you think Kate will be quick to remember that the person on the other side of the phone is the child she ran away from? Or Kate is probably thinking whoever called her was ghost. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think Kate think it was ghost? Because how will a son who never met her before get access to her recent number? These are some of the questions Kate might be asking herself. But then, we all know Kate. If the writer wants to be a little dramatic, he'll make Kate pretend on first sight to think someone is trying to fuck with her mind by calling her mother. Or it could be a lot of things. I believe this ending has so many theories with regards to what Kate could be thinking at this moment. Now, the reason why I said she might think it was ghost is that, in her mind, JP probably didn't survive. But if the writer doesn't want to extend this situation and exaggerate it more, he will leave Kate wondering how come her son found her, who gave him the number, then the question of where is Tommy come to play. But if the news about Tommy's death in New York is something Kate thinks is true, then her guess could be that it was Tommy who called her. Hence, her panic and reaction at the end. All I'm saying is that I doubt Kate will just know suddenly that it was the baby she left behind long ago that has called her now. Maybe I am overthinking or maybe someone is thinking what I'm thinking. So leave your theories. Let's interact on this particular topic. But I'm happy Kate is back. I hope to see her new transition and finding out even about her grandson. Now, moving on. Tommy has finally discovered who D-Mark is. Part of that was the reason Tommy made the decision to let JP call his mother. Now, what will Tommy do with this information? Do you think he will walk straight to JP and tell him he has found his son? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. But if you ask me, I don't think Tommy will play like that. I feel he will test D-Mark in some way to see his mindset. He might also want to find out how and why he never looked for his father. Tommy might also want to test D-Mark's loyalty to see if he can be trusted by asking him who his father and parents are. I feel Tommy will put D-Mark on the spot by asking him details about himself and Tommy will make it look as if before he can put him on, he needs to know more about him. And I believe he will do this just to find out what D-Mark knows. But then let me know what you guys also think. Do you think Tommy will go straight to JP and tell him he has found his son? But then again, I do believe we will be seeing the moment where Kate meets her son for the first time and JP also meeting his son after a long time. Now, finally, Jenna is becoming annoying just like King, doing things without thinking. This drug he wrote from this man, I'm sure there is a CCTV camera hidden somewhere that can trace back to him. And I feel Jenna is moving too fast with some of his decisions and if care is not taken, he'll get himself killed. He wants to take everything by force even if it doesn't belong to him. Now, that kind of attitude ends up in one way. That's a hot bullet on the head. Let me know what you guys think about all that I've said so far. If you like this video, kindly like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.